Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG! Last time, we rescued Dinah and Might, and we got the star from Huntinello there. Toad, huh? Oh, Todovsky, probably. Or it could just be the original Toad, and he took his place. Uh, no, no, I think I'm doing pretty good, but thanks for the offer. I could always just walk back home. Rest up there for free. It's not like we have enemies on the world map or anything. Oh, right. We heard about him yesterday. Right. But anyway, since we've cleared out the mine, a whole bunch of people are here now. Oh, really? Huh. I thought you were talking about the star earlier, but... Or that, well, that was a couple episodes ago, I think. Hmm. No, I don't think so, but uh, I'll keep that in mind. I've got other things I want to spend my money on before I hit the cab. Hmm. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Okay, for some reason I thought she was going to say something else. But anyway. Uh, yeah, the Lucky Jewel uh, helps you get... Uh, well, you know that random thing with the Yoshi eggs? at the end of a battle, it helps you get that to happen for experience or gold. Now she wants a carbo cookie. Remember that from later years. Not gonna do anything with that right now. Well, yeah, not right now, but in a minute, viewers. Hold on. Now let's see, this is Dinah? Yeah. Now some people have been saying H.C. Bailey might is in like a backpack carrier thing on her, whatever. I can't tell. Let me see. Okay, that's a, a slightly better look. I think I can see it? I'm not sure. I can't tell which side is her front and which is the ass end. Oh, thank you. Apparently the moles here have t Texan accent. Uh, sure, why not? So let's see, someone wants fireworks, someone else wants a carbo cookie. Oh. Oh, darn. But anyway, what we can do now is, well, we can do the minecart race again. I'm not going to. I'm not very good at that, and the rewards are minimal. Like, you, you just get coins, I think. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. But yeah, now we got this hole here that we can go down and get into the mountain, right to the back end there. So, no, no, I'm just gonna skip all that. Thank you. Kind of skimming through all this stuff. We got a lot of stuff to get through today. Well, do the best I can. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. But we might want to check it out just to be sure. But yeah, now this path is open too, so we can just go straight to the back here. There is one thing that I want to do back here. I think you have to do this in order to uh, get the item that I want. But it's reasonably quick enough to walk back here. Uh, huh. I thought they were supposed to be here. Haha! There we go. Okay, I figured it out. Uh, you have to leave the village and then come back, and then for some reason that triggers these guys showing up. So, but anyway, if you talk to these guys, okay, we got me, do, so, do, re, la, ti, do. Okay, well, that's a song that we can play back at the uh, Tadbolt Pond there. So, let's head on back there and see if we can get another one of those members cards for, or well, at Melody Bay next to the Tadpole Pond. And we can get some more items from the store there. But yeah, I think you have to talk to those guys in order to do the Melody there. I could be wrong. I don't know. Oh, there was something else I forgot to show off. Did I go into this house? Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you talk to her... Well, she's the one who uh, dug the hole to the minecart race. 
but anyway, you can exchange your items to get points from this store here. So, sure, why not? I'm practically at the money cap anyway. So, sure. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, we got honey syrups. Let's see, okay, we got that. Oh, I'll trade in however many I've got. Let's see. Yep, that's all I've got. So, we exchange those. We get some points from her, and we can trade them in for items. I'm not really going to take advantage of this, because I don't think there's anything worthwhile to get from here. But if you have any thoughts on that, let me know. Yeah, might as well trade these in. They're not worth much coin anyway. So, but, uh, no, I think that's about all I really can trade in there. Well, I traded the pick-me-ups. I don't think that was either of those, but okay. Hmm. Ah, that inflicts the fear status on enemies. That could be useful. Firebomb? Hmm, maybe. Uh, Mario doesn't get an attack that hits all enemies with fire. I mean, he has another one, but it doesn't guarantee to hit all enemies. Yeah, I'll explain that when we get there, but yeah. The ice one, also not so good, because we get an ability that can handle that, so. Okay, well, yeah, as you can see, we're almost at the money cap there, so. Let's see, before taking care of all that stuff, let's equip two form pins on everyone. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter when I do it, but I want to do it now. Let's see, we got all that, we're good to go. And now let's see about getting some of those fireworks. I would only do this if you have a lot of money at this point and you're about to hit the cap. Otherwise, don't bother. But this game just dumps money on you. It's ridiculous. So you can buy fireworks from him to put that money to use. 500 coins? Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Now, one thing that I've heard is that the fireworks slightly alter the ending. It's purely cosmetic. There's not, it's not like you get a good ending if you buy the fireworks. It's just something small there. I, I've heard like you have to buy, I think, six fireworks, or maybe it was five. I think it's six. In order to fully change the ending or something. But even then, it's very, very minor. So, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to. And I'm going to exchange that for a shiny stone. All right. But yeah, as far as uh, the fireworks go, or no, the shiny stone goes, uh, you can use that for another side quest way later in the game. But for now, I want to show something else, else off here. So, you, uh, yeah, she didn't say so earlier, but she wants a shiny stone. You give that to her, we get a carbo cookie. Remember there was someone who was looking for that? She was. Hmm? Oh. Nuts. Well, okay. I'll just, uh, take your seat then. And, whoa! Yeah, if you press down while on that thing, it takes you all the way back to Midas River here, and you can go through this again. Uh, yeah, I, well, obviously now I have to, but uh, I'm going to do that off screen, so I'll just meet you at the end there, if you don't mind. Okay, we made it to the end here, and, oh, the guy is gone, but, well, anyway, we get our coins back, or whatever coins we find on there, we just get back here. So, yeah, I just skimmed through it, I didn't even really try to get through that, but anyway, now we got another Melody to play at Melody Bay here, so let's go put that to use. And as long as we're here, let's uh, talk to Frog Fuchsius, see if he has anything, he good information for us. Well, they did say it was a princess, I don't know if it's THE princess. I mean, they must have other princesses here, right? You, what about any, like, a, a regular prince? I mean, wouldn't, shouldn't they have any males here? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, we got a another yeah g game that we can play here. And uh, yeah, just give me a moment to bring that up here. Okay, there we go. Get up there. 
go. Okay, the rest should be pretty easy. For some reason, my controls don't seem to be as responsive as I would like. I'm surprised I made it through that on my first try there. But, all right! So what do we get this time? The tenor card! Awesome. Let's see, how much money do I got now? Well, I have enough now to get the fireworks again, so I'm gonna go do that, because we don't have anything to buy in the near future. Or at least anything expensive. Let's head on over here and see what we can get with the new tenant card we got, huh? But anyway, let's see, we got, well, now we can get Mega Elixirs, but yeah, that's way more HP than we actually need. Elixirs should suffice, and even then, probably a froggy drink might suffice anyway. How am I doing on my items here? Okay, we're doing pretty good. I still want to hold on to the pure waters, even though I'm going to spend all my money. I want to save those to resell later. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's Booster Pass, by the way. That, well, you gotta go there in order to pass through to Booster Tower there. So, there you go. But anyway, let's buy another set of fireworks and see what happens this time. Maybe the girl found the frog coin there. But anyway, buy some more fireworks. Might as well put the money to use get a new shiny stone. Eventually, I will buy yet another set of fireworks and hold on to the shiny coin because we'll need that for a side quest later. But for right now, I'm not really worried about that. How much money do I get? Let's see, 34 plus 75. Yeah, that would be over 100. So, you know what? Let's go buy that lucky charm that the guy has there. Just sell the pure water. That ought to be good. And give it, er, yeah. Now that we have the money, we can buy a lucky jewel. So, sure, why not? Again, if you don't have the money for this, don't worry about it. But this is the only place where you can get one. So, and remember to come back there later, viewers, because, well, he's gonna have more items to sell to us there. One of them is going to be really, really good. So, sure, I'll give you another cookie. Did you got the coin this time? Hey, all right, we got a frog coin from her. But can we survive Booster Pass in order to make it to Booster Tower just to see if uh, the princess is actually there? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.